Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video and today I'll be retouching an image of myself. <laughs> Alright, let's get right to it. Alright, so this image was taken in my studio as you guys can see. Uh, the background is yellow, obviously. I was actually using a cloth and I was using a one light setup. As you can see if I scroll in, I can see the light right there. Alright, and this image was taken by my uh, makeup artist. Um, I was using the 50mm f1.8 lens, the camera was the Z6, it was actually on a tripod and my shutter speed was 1 over 1 60th of a second, I was shooting at f.6 ISO 100. Alright, so let's get right to it now. So the first thing I'm going to do is to crop this image, so I'm going to click on the crop tool over here. You can click on C on the keyboard for the crop tool and I'm just going to crop it right here. That looks good. Uh, maybe I can pull this down a little bit right here. All right, good. So now the image is scrapped. I'm gonna press enter. And then I'm gonna come over here to my frequency separation action. I'm gonna use a 16-bit action because this is a 16-bit image. So I'm gonna hit 16-bit and then okay. The radius is 6.4 as you can see. All right, so I'm gonna go down to the low frequency layer and then you're going to select the mixer brush. The mixer brush is normally nested on the brushes. So like if you hold on on brushes, you see a list of brushes and you can, click, you can click the mixer brush. I took my mixer brush out, so it's right here. So if it's like this, where if you're using the mixer brush for the very first time, uh, normally you'd see a color right here. You just unclick this little button and then it will clear the mixer brush and then you can start brushing. Before you start brushing, ensure that your wetness is at 2% and ensure sample all layers is not selected. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in on the image a little bit right now. Let me go back to, all right. So I'm gonna start brushing on the low frequency layer. I'm gonna get this a little bit bigger and I'm gonna start brushing. So I'm basically flattening the skin right now. All right. So I'm brushing the lighted area, separated from the, separate from the dark area, or the shaded area. Alright, let me zoom in a little bit more. Okay. So basically the same directions are the same thing I'll be doing for dodge and burning, it would be the same thing I'm doing for the mixing, all right? And that is basically doing the light area separate from the lighted area, all right? So I'm gonna do this side of my cheek, all right, right under here. And as you can see, I don't sleep, so I have a lot of bugs on my eyes. I sleep late at times, I'm always up editing. So I'm just gonna get rid of those bags. And do the same thing here and right here. You can see that I have a lot of pimples, so I have to remove all of those as well. So most of you guys, you know, been asking for images of uh, how to edit a male model. I'm not a model, but. Hmm. I'm a model for this image, or for this uh, video. <laughs> so now you guys will have an understanding how to edit a male model's face. It's no different from doing a female model, actually. Just a slight little um, thing that I'm gonna do that is different. All right, so that looks good. I'm gonna show you the before and after. So before and after. And then I'm gonna come down to the arm. I'm gonna do the same thing. If you can see, I have a lot of hair on my hand. So I'm just going to use the mixer brush to get rid of some of it. Just flatten it a little bit so it doesn't look that obvious. Come over to this side. Oh, I need to cut my nails. Oh, okay. All right, good. So that's it. Let's look at it before and after for everything. I'm going to hold on on Alt on the keyboard and press the I right here. That's the before. That's the after. 
So I'm gonna go to the high frequency la uh, layer and then I'm gonna scroll in a little bit more. And I'm going to come over here and I'm gonna select the clone, not the clone. I always use the clone stamp, so I'm gonna use something different. I'm gonna use the healing brush. And you can look at the settings for my healing brush, the size, well, this size can be just about any size you wish to use. Uh, for the uh, hardness, it's gonna be 100%. For the spacing, 31%. For the handle, which is this handle, if you see, well, as a matter of fact, this handle right here, it's um, 72 degrees and for the roundness is 20 percent all right i am not using any of these pressure um thing because i'm using the, the the pen as if i'm using a mouse all right so i'm going to zoom in a little bit more and i'm going to remove the i'm going to do the same thing by sampling a clean area and i'm going to remove the pimples so you get your brush small as possible as small as the pimple and you just remove it so this portion is very time consuming. I wonder if I should um, speed it up or not. I don't think I'm gonna speed it up. I'm just gonna do it just the same. I'm gonna get rid of the line here in my forehead. So if you notice, I'm trying to, uh, the sample area, I'm trying to keep it as close as possible. So it doesn't look different when I'm sampling and you know, cleaning the area. All right, that part doesn't look good. All right, I'm so tempted to use the clone stamp tool right now. looks good let me see all right that looks good let me come down here and do the same thing just taking my time and just removing all most of the pimples come down here and do the same thing all right, um, I am going to actually do some photo shoot with male models. I'm just waiting on them to confirm which date works for them. I think I have two models so far that I'll be doing uh, a photo shoot with and also a retouch video like this one. But you guys have been waiting for um, this video for a long time. So, you know, so I said to myself, you know what? I'm just gonna use an image of myself because you can't really sit around and wait and you know, I have to ensure that I provide what my subscribers are asking for because you guys are the one that are actually supporting me and I have to ensure that I give you what you want. Once I'm able to, I have to give it to you. All right, so you will see those behind the scenes and also retouch video pretty soon. I have about two behind the scene video coming i just need to edit them pretty soon i might just um upload them in the week i'm not sure i might just wait until next week friday before i drop them but i have a behind the scene coming i use my gopro actually to do um the behind the scene the quality is not that good i'm thinking of buying um the gopro black 7 pretty soon so stay tuned for that all right, so I'm going up back to the forehead here and just, oh, no. I'm gonna go up here to the hairline. Let me come down here a little bit. All right, I think I am done now with removing the pimples. All right, so when you're actually editing a male model's uh, face, if they have a lot of pimples like mine, you don't really want to be perfect with the um, removal of the uh, pimples because normally a male model, you know, are normally when you're retouching a male model, you don't want it to look like a female face basically. So you don't want it to be too cool, don't want it to be too soft or too perfect actually. You have to have this masculine type of thing about it. So I'm gonna show you um, what I'm gonna do um, as it relates to that. So. 
just continue watching <laughs> all right so just gonna come up here and do that so i'm gonna come down here to my lip or close to my lips and do that good i really needed to go to the barber before anyway i'm not gonna work on that so i'm gonna scroll down here and see if there's anything on my hands to remove there's nothing there good so that's it so the next thing i'm gonna do is to clean my eyes so i'm gonna go to the eye and teeth and remember you can download this action by using the link in the description so i'm gonna go to the brush put my brush at about 16 percent and then i'm gonna paint to get rid of the red the redness all right good that looks okay perfect then i'm gonna go to camera raw so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go i'm gonna press Control shift alt e to create a new layer Control j to duplicate it then i'm gonna go to, and then i'm gonna do Control a Control shift a for for camera raw let me press auto and see what it looks like okay auto doesn't look good but i'm gonna bring out some of the shadows a little bit like right there and then that's it that's it nothing else to do i'm gonna come up here now and i'm gonna go to the uh blue five percent of blue for the shadows i always love to add that and then there's nothing else i need to do so i'm going to do another layer by hitting Control shift alt um Control shift alt e and then i'm going to well i shouldn't have i didn't have to do that but yeah i'm going to duplicate this layer so i'm gonna that's the background layer the original layer so i'm going to Control j and then i'm going to hold on and Control shift and then the right bracket to bring it to the top when i do that i'm just going to lower the opacity to about 34 percent and that's it so let me just scroll up here and show you the before and after before and after so what i did was to bring back some of the original image because you don't want it to look too perfect as i said when you're doing a male model or retouching for a male model it should not look perfect um, like a female model it's a little bit different so you still want to have that masculine type of look type of thing so that's what i did all right so we could go further by cleaning up um, the edges here, but no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just giving you guys an example of how I actually edited this image and how you would actually approach the editing process for your male uh, model. So that's it for the image. I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. It's no different from the other videos I've been doing. So yeah, but stay tuned for the behind the scenes. I have two behind the scenes video coming soon. So guys, stay tuned for that. And I have a video that I'll be doing soon talking about my first real estate video. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching and have a good one. Bye-bye.